Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will try to understand how to run linear regression using predictor operator in NIME. Before that, let's try to understand what is a regression analysis. In case of regression analysis, there can be one dependent variable and there can be many independent variables. It is necessary that the dependent and independent variable both are on continuous scale. The example of continuous scale are weight, blood pressure. So here we want to see the relationship between weight and blood pressure means with every increase in with every increase in one unit of weight, how much the blood pressure is increasing. The basic assumption is that the relationship between dependent and independent variables should be linear. Now how we can do this? Let's see in nine. So first of all, I will activate input output from here and I will activate Excel reader node. The reason for this is my data set is in Excel format. I'll browse my data set. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this lecture series. Click apply, click OK, right click on it and execute. Now let us see the variables. The variables are miles per gallon, number of cylinders, displacement of the vehicle, horsepower of the vehicle, displacement rate of the vehicle, weight of the vehicle, QSEC, vertical or straight engine, automatic or manual transmission, number of gears and number of carburetors. So we want to find out what are the factors which are influencing the mileage of the vehicle and for this we will consider the horsepower and the weight of the vehicle. So let us activate first the learner that is rear linear regression learner. Let us take it top, configure. We will make MPG as our target variable. We will remove all of them and consider horsepower and weight of the vehicle inside. Click apply, click OK, right click on it and execute. This thing we had done in the earlier video also. Now let us see the model coefficient and statistics. We had discussed this thing in earlier videos that if it is less than 0 0.05, this means that all these variables are contributing. What is the model which we have created? The model is on the basis of this coefficient. So my mileage of the vehicle is equal to 37.227, the constant minus 3.878 into the weight minus 0 0.032 into the horsepower. So this is the equation which is being formed. This we had seen in previous video. Now, what is the next thing which we are going to do is we want to predict on the basis of this model for our data set. So I'll activate linear predictor. So regression predictor. Is connect this and I'll connect this with this. Now, what's the whole concept? Let's try to understand. First, we made the model. Now we are we will input this model into the predictor and we will take the data set from uh, that is the original data set will be considered on this. I will configure. So there is nothing to change here. Yes, definitely you will make a new column. Where the name will be the prediction MPG. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now again, right click on it and see the predicted data. Now what is the new thing which the predictor uh, node is giving to us? This is the original data. And this is the prediction done by our learner model. You can see that for the first one, that is for the Mazda RX-4, the original data is 21 and a, a, according to the model, the prediction is 23.572. So more or less, you are getting nearer and it means that the model is quite successful in prediction. So this is a way you can use a predictor operator in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NIME.